Guys, welcome back to Let's Play Persona 5 Royal with the likes of Rotate Games. On the last episode, we continued hanging out with our confidants because we still have a little bit of time left before the 19th of November, which is the date that we've planned to send the calling card to our current target, Cyan. Cyan? 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 Why do I keep saying it like that? Cyan Nijima. My gosh. I can't speak already. Um, yeah, our current our current target is, is Cyan Nijima, but we need to wait until we can send the calling card so we've just been hanging out with our friends and stuff in the meantime so we hung out with our who did we hang out with last time oh yeah and we hung out with haru and we opened up confidant links with the tower uh shady oda who is the gamer king and the fortune uh, the fortune teller uh, chihaya mifune uh, so we had a pretty good time today we're continuing to hang out with our confidants because that's all we have to do so let's see who's available shall we because i didn't do that at the end of last episode all right kao kami but she's maxed out oh yeah but she is just not available because of mementos no one else no one else i think it's twins time then i think it's finally twins time because i've been ditching the twins for too long let's go and hang out with them oh i'm excited okay oh hold on let me go to station square real quick i'll get my lorry results because i don't know when the last time i think i did the lorry was uh, okay congratulations 2000 yen okay that's almost a profit not quite but <laughs> uh, wow. i might as well buy Welcome. another ticket all right uh, 11.18. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah. That's the day before the 19th. They'll be able to get it, hopefully. Hi. Let's uh, let's do a scratcher while we're here. Uh, might as well. Yeah. Alright, three spots. Woohoo, let's do it. Left one. Oh, miss. Man. Uh, the middle one. Oh, it's a miss. Okay. Come on. Womp womp. Okay, I didn't expect anything. That's fine. Alright, let's head on over to Central Street. And we'll go and chat with our twin friends, because it's been so long. It's been so long and I've missed them. Alright, twins, hello! How are you doing? What are you gonna do today? Alright, time to name the location! Justine, you do the honors. Now, listen closely. The place we wish to evaluate for your rehabilitation is... One halfway detached from this world. It is said the time spent there is like that of a dream. Men and women of all ages swarm the land, forgetting reality in the search of happiness and wonder. This sounds like a similar form of escapism as the fantasies we saw at the movie theater. A sinister trap that ensorcels humans. If such a place truly exists, then we must observe it in action ourselves. Does this location sound at all familiar to you? Well, if you know where it is, then escort us there immediately. It could be Destiny Land over in my home. What'll you do? So what'll it be? You mean Destiny Land? You mean Destiny Land? Hmm. Destiny Land? Huh. What an absurd name! Come on, let's get going, inmate! Go, go! Caroline, what excites you so? Uh, that bear is walking on its hind legs! Is it a demon of some sort? Is there a king living in that castle? Shouldn't we pay our respects to him first? The parade's starting! Go, go, go! What? What is that thing? It's huge! This gleeful music, the rhythmic monotonous dancing, the grins plastered across every spectator's face. <sighs> this overstimulation is making me grow dizzy. Aha! This is a brainwashing scheme, isn't it, inmate? Everybody clap your hands. Hey, are you brainwashed too now? Quickly, Caroline. Slap him back into reason. Failing that, try your baton. It appears you're of sound mind now. Are you joking? Way to confuse us, idiot! Way to confuse us, stupid! Although it may benefit us to investigate just how they pull off such a successful mass brainwashing. Justine, let us con conduct an inspection of the premises. Lead the way, inmate. That wasn't nearly as impressive as I expected. You say that now, despite appearing quite captivated before. What with your outbursts, like, that bear is so cute, and let's get in line to meet the characters, and so forth. <gasps> I said nothing of the sort! I was merely going through the motions in the guise of a brainwashed human! Th that's all it was! Come on, 
Let's go. Look, there's another line. Let's see where it goes. <sighs> I suppose we don't have a choice now. We had better catch up to her, inmate. <sighs> I can't believe we stood in line for her. I don't even know how long. And it only led to a bathroom. I was hoping we'd get to ride in one of those massive crazed teacups going about in circles. Hey, inmate! What was that, inmate? A fantastical trip. The stalls were lit with chandeliers, and the sinks looked as if they were designed for royalty. Were we actually in Zilba's palace that whole time? Well, that was fun. I mean, that was a functional assignment, but we've had enough for today. Time to head back. Just a moment, Caroline. I've heard it is customary to bring back some sort of token gift for one's superiors after visiting places such as this. We should buy something for our master while we have the chance. I perused the wares on, on display earlier. The mouse ears are the stuffed bear. Which do you think our master would prefer? Both. I see. Both Caroline and I should each provide our own gift. The master, cuddling a stuffed bear while wearing mouse ears. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Justine? It seems that even I could not avoid the brainwashing. Please keep this a secret from our master. In any case, we have confirmed the existence of a world of dreams. As such, we formally acknowledge your assignment is complete. Here is your reward. Alright, we got Tetracar, nice. Look at the smiles on these people's faces. It's as if they've been liberated from their everyday lives. A human's desire to dream even reaches into their time in the waking world. A rather curious phenomenon for us as we dwell in the space between dream and reality. Ooh, is another brainwashing parade beginning? Now, let us return. We have no time for that again. Let us return, inmate. I escorted the twins back to the Velvet Room as ordered. A brainwashing parade? <laughs> Igor with a bear and... Oh, no. Hiya! Hey! We're setting the calling card on the 18th, so we have less than a week left now. <sighs> I'm getting nervous. I know how you feel. Really? You too, Ren? That's surprising. Still, the time this time is different than usual, having a set date to send the calling card and all. This mission will determine our fate. We have to succeed no matter what. By the way, do you like hearing your own voice? Have you ever heard a recording of your own voice? Were you surprised? That's because when you hear your voice normally, you hear it through your bones. The voice you hear in a recording that makes you feel uncomfortable is unmistakably your own voice. Now then, I'm a Miyakun. Has, he has hearing someone's voice over the phone ever felt strange to you? Do you know the answer? I wonder. Do you know why voices sound so different over the film? Err... It, it's because the voice is synthetic, I do believe, because of the processing over the phone lines. Err, and the receiver. Um, I don't think it's slowed down at all. And you're definitely not talking to someone else. <laughs> um, yeah, no, this is kind of a meta question, considering I'm currently recording my voice. And you can hear it now, and I have to hear it while I edit it. It's weird. <laughs> like, when I first started doing this, I, I hated the sound of my own voice. So editing was tough. And now I've kind of gotten used to it a bit, but at times I'm still like, Oh, is that what I sound like? Oh no. <laughs> I hope it's not too irritating. Anyway, er, I'm pretty sure it's the second one. I can't check. No network. Still no internet. Yay. Because the voice is synthetic. This is it. Well done. That's correct. I'm surprised you knew the answer. The voice, uh, the sound is synthetic. It's practically not even their voice anymore. To transmit data, cell phones use a certain way of encoding your voice into digital information. And when your phone has to use that data to reassemble a voice, it can only do so much. 
Whoa, he actually knew that? Maybe I should ask if I could borrow his notes. Nice going! Wow, you must be really smart to be able to answer a question like that. Thanks, Mona. <laughs> the amount of times that I've been on the phone and someone's mistaken me for my mother as well. It's ridiculous. Oh. You think you'd be able to tell if you were hearing a computer talking? As long as the tone and intonation match, the listener's brain fills in any other differences. Most of our communication is based on assumptions. I see. Yeah, my voice just sounds like meows to people who don't know me. Jeez, assumptions are dangerous. Hey, there's six days left. I know, Moda, thank you. Hey. hey, should you tell the others about the target of mementos? Err, uh, we will eventually. Okay, oh, Futaba and Shady are both available today. Oh, who else is available though? Err, uh, because I'm, I'm not gonna hang out with Futaba just yet. I think we'll probably hang out with Shinya in Akihabara. Um, I don't think I have anything else to do. I don't know why I opened my phone again. Err, uh, I'm actually just gonna travel straight to Akihabara. Do I have a tower? Do I have a tower? I think I have Belphegor, right? I'll double check. Err... Uh, no. Oh, I have Seth. I have the dragon, of course. Okay, we should be okay then. Err, uh, since I have a persona. Um, okay, it looks like whatever the twins are up to next is not during the daytime. That's good. Err, uh, I was a little bit worried. Err, uh, okay, let's go head on- oh wait, hold on, I can read the text. Let's read the text first. Alright, hello Futaba. Err, uh, I'm not hanging out with you. I'm sorry, I love you. Alright, Shinya. Don't you want to get better at the game? I'll be by the arcade today, so if you so stop by if you feel like playing. I'll teach you a bunch of tricks. I feel like I can be I feel like I can become close to Seth, uh, Shibuya. Oh my god. I feel like I can become close to Shinya thanks to the tower persona Seth. I feel like my bond with Shinya will grow stronger soon. You've agreed to a deal with Shinya. Be sure to accept his invitations until you gain his trust, okay? All right, let's check our bond with him first. All right. All right. <laughs> this is Shinya. I, I love his get smoked hat. It's a meme. It's wonderful. Err, uh, okay, I'm actually just gonna say no and then I'm gonna just head on in to the arcade and chat to him there. All right, Shinya, hi, how are you doing? <laughs> I got a fan of these strap this time from the capsule toy machine in the back alley. It costs 500 yen each try, so I can only play once in a while. You ready to train, right? Well, are you ready? Uh, hold on just a second, actually. I just noticed that I've not got the toy that's in the back. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I want to get this toy real oh. quick. Lexi? Let's get Lexi. Look at how beautiful Lexi is. Okay. I actually wonder what Lexi is from. Another Atlas property, I would assume. Come on, Lexi! They look so flat. Like, on the piles? Oh, nothing, dang it. <sighs> Alright, one more time, one more time. Oh. I Are they still selling... What's that? Okay, Okay, it's just normal chocolate. I thought it was Phantom Thief chocolate for a second. Because I'd be surprised if they were still selling Phantom Thief chocolate, <laughs> given our current um, reputation. <laughs> Alright, come on, Lexi. <gasps> we got it! Yay! It looks so much flatter on the pile. Nice going. You did it, you got the prize! A Lexi doll, huh? You should put it somewhere in your room when we go home. Will do, thank you, Mona. Alright. Hi Shadia, I'm, I'm ready to talk now. I wanted Lexi. What do you say? Alright, let's 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 hang out. Alright. Let's keep playing. Well, I'm gonna walk around. Let me know when you're ready to leave. What the? You're making the same mistake this last- You made the same mistake last time. What are you doing? Don't you get it? You can't just shoot all over the place. The king's so awesome at this game. Yeah, but he's got such a bad attitude. You're like he's bipolar. I wonder how long that high schooler's gonna be able to keep up. Ugh, no, not like that! Gah! Haven't you gotten better at all? What are you gonna learn? It's really late. The 
Thanks to you taking so long to figure it out. So don't compare me to you. Yeah, you're right. Hey, I've always been good at shooting games. But I absolutely never want to lose a gun about. So I guess I tend to get all heated up about it. It's time for all the elementary school kids to go home. Do you understand, little boy? Shut up. Do I need to call your mom? Fine, I'll leave, alright? What a rude employee. Seriously. I really wanted to keep playing. My house is so boring. No one's ever there and there's never anything to do. Adults and high adults and high schoolers are so lucky. They get to play all night long. Having that much time helps you get stronger. I wish I could play all day instead of going to school. I never lose another game. I need to get really strong, like the Phantom Thieves. Do you admire them? Of course I do! I want to be just as strong as they are. <laughs> I believe in the Phantom Thieves and their strength. I'll let them know. Thank you. That'd be great. Thanks. Seriously, though, I can't stop thinking about that employee. He was super annoying, huh? If he says something again, I might just have to use that move on him. The one I taught you, remember? You should use it sometime. I feel like my bond with Shinya is, deep is growing deeper. Alright, we have ranked up with Shinya. Man, this poor kid, it seems like his house is, is maybe not the best place right now if he's wanting to be at the arcade all the time, but then again, games are fun, so. <laughs> Alright, we learned Bullet Hail, a chance to enter a gun-based all-out attack after a successful ambush. Nice. Also, Joker Ren, he's just tapping his foot in the background. <laughs> you can still kind of see it. I love it, okay. Well, we ranked up. All right. Your tower confidant has increased to rank 2. You will now earn more EXP for Arcana Bars from Beezing Personas of the Tower Arcana. Shinya taught you how to use Bullet Hail. Well, it's just a move in the game, so it won't work against actual people. I wish it did. Then I'd be strong in real life. I need to be able to win in real life. I'm gonna head home. Interacting with Shinya has made my heart grow. I feel like my kindness has increased. I guess so many points of kindness for hanging out with Shinya, wow. Later. Say hi to the Phantom Thieves for me. Oh, uh, hello? Uh, Mamiya-san? It's me, Shinya Oda. I was bored, so I thought I'd call. I forgot to mention earlier, but you gotta keep practicing even on single player, okay? Everyone sucks at first, but you can get good if you do it every day. I'll work hard. You better! You're supposed to be the adult here. I'm practicing a lot too. I want to get as strong as the Phantom Thieves. Oh, my mom came home. I gotta hang up. Bye! Ah, you're back. Hi, Sojuru. Well, that was interesting. Nice to hang out with, with Shinya, see how he's doing. Oh, Featherman's on! I wonder if Shinya watches Featherman? Probably not. Alright, let's watch it. The goal of the evil Daimaho Dai was nothing less than the eradication of all birds from the face of the earth. How will the Featherman, slowly succumbing to an avian influenza, get out of this one? The next episode, Broken Wings. Oh, okay. Sounds like they're going through a dramatic arc in Phoenix Ranger Featherman. Alright, who have we got texts from? Oh, he fit me in ha Haru. Haru, hello. How, how are you doing, Haru? Let's read this, shall we? How does that just to wait for the deadline? I'm having trouble keeping still. Everyone seems so anxious. 
I can certainly understand given the stakes involved, but perhaps we could all go play billiards for a change of pace. It seems an invitation worth extending to the team. What are your thoughts? Hara's right. Maybe we should go play billiards to relax a little bit. Uh, let's decide later. If I've got other stuff I should be doing, I'm not gonna hang out and play billiards because none of my teammates need points. Um, Hifumi is the only one who's available and I do need points for Hifumi, so I should probably go and hang out with her. Because uh, no one else is available. Er, uh, I am kind of curious whether or not the twins have anything available right now. I went to Station Square instead of Central Street there, that was stupid. Er, uh, yeah, I don't know if they'll have a new location right now. I would assume so. Um, because there's a certain temptation to hang out with the twins. Oh, they're not here. Oh well, that's fine. Alright, let's go ahead and tie out with me then, shall we? Would you like a lesson today? I'm always here playing shogi, so... If you don't have anything planned today, please stop by the church. Hifumi seems to be waiting for you at the church. Wanna go see her? Uh, let's go right away. I'll be right there. Yes, that is the right attitude. I look forward to your visit. I hope I have a star persona. I did not check. Oh, hi Hifumi, how you doing? I'm gonna very quickly check if I have a persona. Er, I do, I have Garuda. Nice, okay. Alright, hi Hifumi. Good evening. The cold, the gold's key to victory lies in retreating. This means at times, retreating is an effective strategy in order to attack with your next move. It may be good for you to remember that as well. I'd like to teach you Shoki at different locations from time to time to change up the mood. Um... Somewhere outside, without too many people. There may not be such many such places. Well then, shall we play a match today? I feel like I could become close to Hifumi thanks to the star person of Garuda. I don't think my bond with Hifumi will deepen just yet. So what are you thinking? Are you gonna hang out with Hifumi? Have we changed her bond with her? Oh right! We have, okay. We're rank 8. But it's not gonna rank up, so that's okay. Let's hang out. Maybe I should invite her to Inukashira Park. Let's do it! I see. That's an excellent idea. I look forward to it. I know it's sudden, but I'd like you to take me there. I might be able to think of a good move. <laughs> yes, I feel like I can play Shoki at a different pace here. The scenery, the sounds, the smells. I was able to utilize all five of- I'll be able to use- I'll be able to utilize all five of my senses. Perhaps I'll even come up with some new ideas. It's a good stimulator, huh? Yes. A different sensibility than usual awakens. It helps one come up with new moves. I've opened up new opportunities through Shogi. You are like a Shogi piece filled with endless moves. I wonder what kind of person you will become. Just imagining all the possibilities is fun. <laughs> I'm starting to get the feeling that a new move will come to me. Well then. Now that we feel refreshed, let us play fair and square. I feel like my bond with Hifumi will grow stronger soon. Okay, let's end here for today. We should stop here for today. Hifumi is really nice. <laughs> Only one week remaining. Yeah, that's how much time we got to add the treasure. There's that, but it's also how much longer we'll get to stay as the Phantom Thieves. Yeah. Now that you mentioned that, it is quite an odd feeling. I've been trying to avoid thinking about that until the time actually comes. Y did you remember, Ren? I did. Amazing! Well, I guess all we can do now is do this shit like we always do. Yeah, for Makoto's sister. Thank you, everyone. Hey, how many days left till we send the calling card? Five? Well, make sure you're ready for it. Well, then. That reminds me, the home shopping program is here today. You want to check out the TV? Err, uh, we'll do that later. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, actually. No, okay. I wanted to check something. Yeah, um, I was gonna say something and I don't remember. I can't believe we've only got a week left. Five days left, really. Vi <laughs> Dude, 
Takemi's given up on trying to get us to, to go to her, like, with a lot of words. Now she's just like, visit. I'm gonna read this. Do you want to come visit? I'll welcome you with open arms. I can examine you for free if you want. Err, uh, no thank you, Takemi. Not unless no one else is available. Okay, Futaba's available. Err, uh, actually it's just Futaba and Takemi. Err, uh, I do need Takemi points. Um... <sighs> Dang it, I'm gonna have to hang out with Futaba. I'm gonna have to hang out with Futaba. <laughs> okay, this is fine. Err, uh, do I have a hermit? I do, I have Kamokten. Okay, let's go hang out with Futaba. Err, uh, actually, we'll watch the TV first. Err, uh, it's shopping time. Instant spray set. Ultimate spray, cleaning spray, quick spray. Okay, that sounds interesting. Meditative set. Oh, that's a bunch of Nirvana. Ooh, they, they sound kind of interesting. Um, oh, they're both kind of expensive. Um, part of me really wants the incenses, and part of me kind of wants the spray set. Uh, to weaken enemies. You know what? I'm gonna get the meditative set. Um, I want strong personas. I'm just gonna do that. There we go. All right. Now that we have stuff bought, let's go hang out with Pajama. <laughs> Hi, my girl. How you doing? Yo, we just gotta wait for our scheduled day now. Do you have some time? I think I want to talk. I feel like I could be close to Futaba thanks to the Hermit for some commute. I feel like my bond with Futaba will grow stronger soon. It's good to take a break every so often. Do you want to hang out with Futaba? Let's do it. All right. Let's do it in your room. Chan and I have been sending tons of emails back and forth lately. She said she wants to go back to school next year, but she might not have the money. As for me, I... I'm gonna go back. You've really matured. <laughs> I think I've gained like 50 levels in the past few months. It's all because of you, Ren. I mean, sure, I hated elementary school, but I met Kanachan there, so... Maybe it wasn't all bad. The same goes for high school. Even if I hate it, I know something positive will come from it. But I still have to do the last item on my promise list. Being okay without you around. Uh, honestly, I've kind of been feeling weird lately. My heart's been beating real fast when we're together. Then, even when we're apart, I can't stop thinking about you. Are you okay, Futaba? N not at all. I'm more like, no okay. Then again, I feel good too. Um, by the way, um, can I ask you a favor? It's a pretty big one. Can we skip that last promise? If you want. Oh, good. Thanks for not getting mad at me. I just can't be okay without you around. Life doesn't feel the same when you're not with me. I mean, or not that, but I don't know. Ren, you're always so nice to me. Kind of like how Sojiro is. That makes sense for him, though. He's basically my dad. But you don't have a reason like that, so... Why are you so nice? Um... Uh, oh, I just thought of a possibility. Am I, um, the only one you treat like this? I should choose my words carefully. Why, Ren? Um, so I, I, I think we're not dating anyone in this run, so I, I, I'm sorry, Futaba. Because we're teammates. Teammates? <laughs> right! Of course teammates would want to be nice to each other. It's so obvious. That's gotta be why my heart's always pounding so much. I know it It knows how much I care about my teammates. And you run my key item. All right. From now on, I'm gonna devote every fiber of my being into supporting you guys. 
I could feel a strong bond of trust for Futaba. All right, we've got to rank nine with Futaba. <laughs> I love her so much. All right, and we now have emergency shift, chance to swap current party with backups when two or more people are KO'd. That's been very helpful for me in the past, so bless you, Futaba, thank you. All right. Your Hermit Confidant has increased to rank nine. You will now earn more EXP from Arcana, but so these are personas of the Hermit Arcana. You, Futaba can now use emergency shift. <laughs> It's gonna be great! <laughs> oh, a teammate, my teammate! Ren joined Futaba's party! Futaba is beaming at Ren! Futaba attacks! Fatal damage to Ren! Hmm? Wait a second, that's not what teammates are supposed to do. Bye now! Laters! I walked Futaba home. earlier today you said i'm your teammate but that's you know kind of vague right can i get specific what kind of teammate am i to you oh no <laughs> that's adorable i'm sorry a key item seriously so i fall into your most valuable items huh <laughs> i didn't know i was that important to you you think I'm your teammate? We got something special, you know? Like, no matter how far apart we are, our hearts will always be connected. Wait, no matter how far apart? So, that means... Oh, sorry, I completely spaced out. But yeah, we're gonna be really great teammates. Anyhow, time to make like a tree! Ah, you're back. I love Futaba so much. Oh my god. Ah, okay, I love her. I love her. I feel like they changed her rank 9 rejection a little bit. I think? I've only seen it, like, once. So... It's surprising. I feel like it's a little bit different, though. I feel like they've made it less... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just remembering it wrong. Huh. That that conversation after, like, oh, the high five, friend smile, the, the conversation on the phone afterwards. I'm, I'm deceased. I'm dead. Okay, let's... <laughs> I love Futaba. Okay. I, I can't check TV to distract myself. Hi, soldier. How are you doing? Hmm. I never turned out things would... I never imagined things would turn out like this. But took it one hell of a kid. Uh, I forgot his voice. Oh well, it's fine. Sorry, Sojiro. Uh, don't mean to cause you that much trouble. Haru wants to go to the cinema? We don't have a reason to go to the cinema with Haru. Oh, this day is full of, of disappointments. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna hang out with Chihaya, but let's read the test from Haru first. Alright, I need to actually click the right button. That usually helps. Alright. Would you like to go and see a movie right now? We have about a week left, so why don't we take a break? There's a thriller that's out called Patch Saw. What do you think? If you can handle that kind of stuff, that is. Oh, you like thrillers, Haru. I don't. Sorry. Okay, we're gonna hide with Shihaya anyway. Let's do it. Please let me verify your skills. I have the perfect client for your test. Come on, don't you want to know? Just give me a bit of your time. Uh, I'm actually gonna go to Akihabara and talk with her there. Um, because I'm curious about something. Err, uh, if I remember correctly. Also, I want to see if the twins are... No, they still don't have a thing. Huh. Fair enough. Oh, I think someone might have the flu. Okay. Well, hello there. Prevention is key. Everyone seems to be wearing masks. Is it meant to stave off the flu? Catching a cold sometimes is just fate, you know. Well then, what would you like to do today? Chihaya, please wear a mask if you get sick. My god, and wash your hands for god's sake. Let's do a verification test. Bring it on. We're not done with these tests yet. I 
I feel like I've become closer to Chihaya thanks to the fortune person of the Lacasis. I feel like my bond with Chihaya will grow stronger soon. Well, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna hang out with Chihaya? Let's do it. <laughs> I'm actually doing a reading for a client right now, so please stay and watch. Good evening. This is your first time coming to my stand, yes? Uh, yeah, um, a colleague of mine recommended you. You said you could help fix my problems. Is that right? Yes, of course. Fate is absolute. So, um, the thing is, I'm engaged to be married. Next spring, I'll be tying the knot with a friend I've had since all the way back in preschool. <laughs> That's wonderful! Congratulations! So, what's worrying you? Is it the date of the ceremony, or perhaps the location of your honeymoon? Oh, oh um, it's not like that. The problem is, I'm not entirely sure we'll be able to get married. The truth is, the president of one of our major business partners has offered me his daughter's hand. What? Ah, so this is what it means to be weighed down by societal obligations. Do, um, do you think it would be bad if I declined that president's offer? <laughs> Please relax. The divine power will bring us your answer. Yes, I've seen everything. Is this? Why? It seems like you will face financial ruin if you decline. No. Does this mean breaking off my engagement is the only option? Um... Ah, oh, mia -san? This may be a good time to demonstrate your powers. This man is bound by the fetters of societal obligation. How should he move forward? Follow his heart. <laughs> oh, that's a wonderful suggestion! Oh, I guess anyone could have come up with that answer. Incidentally, what would you say to make him choose his childhood friend? Thieves may steal her away. What? Thieves? She's not a child. Oh, wait, you really think someone else would try to go after her? Uh, I guess guys would line up to date such an amazing girl. Well, I'm not gonna let that happen. The only one who can make her happy is me. I was a fool for hesitating, even for a moment. Uh, I'm gonna marry her. Thank you so much. It happened again. <sighs> so you've altered fate once more. His fortune now states he will be quite successful. I question your powers, but this is the third time. I have no choice. I must accept that fate can in fact be changed. You've proven that to me. Hmm. And as a sign of thanks for showing me the truth, I'll provide a special fortune service for me from now on. I can sense Chihaya's intense motivation. Alright, we have ranked up with Chihaya. We got money reading. Temporarily increases money aired from battle. Oh, nice! That's pretty cool. We'll have to do that next time we go into a palace or mementos. All right. Your Wheel of Fortune confidant has increased to rank 3. You'll now earn more EXP from our Quantum Burst Infusing Episodes of the Wheel of Fortune Arcana. Chihaya is now able to tell your money reading. Um, you know, I never thought it was possible to change destiny. Are you perhaps a psychic? Who knows? Actually, no. Such powerful people do not exist in this world. You may oversee changes in fate, but purposefully altering one's de destiny is impossible. That is why I'll forever be a monster. Oh, um... My, it's gone so late! I should start packing up for today. I'll see you next time. Goodbye! Farewell! I don't think I got a single point with her there. That's concerning. Oh, you're able to grab a seat. Why don't you read something until we get there? Thanks to that book on speed reading, I should be able to get through this quickly. Oh, great, wonderful. Okay, what do I want to read then? Um, what do we need to read, to be honest? Um, most of these are from places that I've been to already. Uh, so I'm not really sure what to read. Uh, I think... I'm gonna click on some of these ones that we've been to already because right. I'm, I'm not 
there's no point in reading them. Err, uh, so Chinatown I think we already have? Oh no we don't, oh no. Hmm? Beyond the buns, rediscover the charms of Chinatown. Oh, it's Motomachi Chinatown, huh? Wow, the pictures really show how lively that place is. Everything from high class traditional cuisine to street food like Shaolong Bao. This seems like a fun place to explore and try out all the different cuisine. So you finished reading Chinese sweets. There are many- there are so many shops in Chinatown, aren't there? I didn't realize that we didn't have Chinatown already. Well, here we go, we have Chinatown. Japan's largest Chinatown. Gourmet Chinese restaurants line the streets. 4,000 years of history. Take a walk through a foreign city. Enjoy the stall food and souvenirs. All right. You now have new information on a new hangout spot, Motobashi Chinatown. You can also invite people who may like it there to hang out with you. You should invite people to go to- you should invite someone to go to Motomachi Chinatown sometime. Oh, we're also at the station. I'd say that was an efficient use of your time. Pay attention! Hey, quit sleeping over there! Jeez, you all look like a bunch of dead- dead fish. What was it? Your phone? Video games? I know you were up late. I always wake up at sunrise. On the other hand, kids these days. Hey, Amamiya, are you awake? Look at this map. Why don't you try? You know you can see the sunrise the earliest atop Mount Fuji, right? Tell me why that is. It's because of the high altitude. <laughs> He's an angry man. <laughs> because of the high altitude. This is it. Exactly. That's right. The more east and south you go, the earlier the sun rises. However, what affects it most is altitude. So excluding the outlying islands, the sun rises earliest on Mount Fuji. Oh, wow, really? Amamiya can see he's kinda smart, doesn't he? Nice go! Wow, you must be really smart to be able to answer a question like that. Thanks, Mona. I try my best. I remember things from vanilla. That said, who knows what dawn will ever come for this country? The government and the police are completely incompetent. Those phantom thieves need to be caught before anything else. Ah, uh, we'll show you. We'll show you just who's just. Hey, how many days left till I send the call card? Four? Well, make sure you're ready for it. Err, uh, will do. Oh, you can see the flu particles in the air. Oh, that's awful. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, who's available today? Oh, Haru. Takami. I think we're gonna hang out with Haru then, because she's the only one available who will level up. So, err, uh, let's, let's just go straight up to Haru. I have no other things that we need to do. <gasps> oh, and my sun tomatoes are ready. Hi. You just need to wait until the day of the announcement. I'll be taking care of these plants until then. Did you need something in the meantime, Renka? I'm here for the vegetables. <laughs> that makes me happy. Those ones have done enough growing, so we can harvest them now. There we go. <laughs> They've grown so well. I'm feeling confident about these ones. Treat them with care and respect, okay? Thank you for the sun tomato, Haru. Alright, let's chat to her again. I want more vegetables. Wait, hi Haru. I want more vegetables. <laughs> okay, uh, we can I get... Ooh, ooh, is that new? The earth beans? Hard to grow bean doubles the damage of physical attacks one time. Ooh, that's nice. Uh... Actually, maybe they were there before. I can't remember. We're gonna make a moonlight carrot, though. Go better if you talk to them, you know. Go big, okay? The moonlight carrot is doing well. It should be ready to harvest on eleven eighteen. <laughs> I hope you're looking forward to it. Oh, thank you, Haru. All right, let's chat to her again. Err, uh, I want to hang out with you. Thank you. I thank you. Um, I'd like to spend some free time with you if, if you're free. I need to speak with you about Takakura-san. 
feel like I could come, I feel like I could become close to Haru thanks to the Empress Priscilla Greedy. I feel like my bond with Haru will go stronger soon. It's good to take a break every so often. Do you want to hang out with Haru? Let's do it. Thank you. Let's get some coffee while we talk. Oh, I know. Why don't we try the Big Ben burger, burger for a change? Um, I looked into Takakura-san, but I didn't manage to find very much beyond those initial rumors. Several people I asked said that he often complained about my father. But just as many seem to say the exact opposite. One side has to be deceiving me, correct? I'm honestly suspicious of everyone at this point. Somebody's telling the truth. Yes, I see. If there are two contradictory stories, one of them has to be right. I suppose I'll need to learn the truth of the matter myself. To be honest, Takakura-san has been pushing the marriage particularly hard lately. He says it will help provide vital back backup for myself and Dokomura Foods, both in public and in private. He's even started asking Sugimura-san into more important company meetings. We have a contract. Does this mean it's already too late? Is marrying him my only option? Though, now that I think about it, that may be my best chance to help the employees my father left behind. There has to be another way. You're right. Perhaps I shouldn't give up so easily. Either way, graduation is quickly approaching. I'll need to decide my course of action soon enough. You know, before you came along, I hadn't even considered not going through with this marriage. I believed I would simply marry the man my father had chosen and let the rest of my life pass him by. I wonder what would have happened if my father didn't have a palace. Would I have just resigned myself to the fate he made for me? I don't think so. Renkun. Thank you. You always know how to make me feel better. Honestly, though, things would have been far worse for me if I hadn't joined the Phantom Thieves. Plus, I would never have had anyone to talk to like this. Um, if there's anything I can do to return the favor, please tell me. I want to help you as much as I can. I can sense Haru's trust in me. Alright, we've reached rank 5 with Haru, and we now have Bumper Crop. Increases the total vegetable yield for a single harvest. Oh, I don't think that'll backlog to the ones that I just asked her to do. Oh, that's sad. Oh well. Well, we ranked up with her either way. No, I think she has the, the strength that she would have eventually been like, no, I'm not doing this, and stood, stood up for herself. Um, but sometimes you just need a little push, and that's what the Phantom Thieves have been for her. Alright, All right. your Empress Confidant has increased to rank 5. You will now earn more XP for Arcana, but refuse to be with the Empress Arcana. Haru has now learned how to cultivate a bumper crop. <sighs> I hope someday I can just look out at the sea with a nice cup of coffee and forget about all this. And I hope you'll be there with me, Renkun. We can forego the elephants, though. Don't worry. Now, shall we return home? Well then, shall we go home? here for you. That's true. Thank you. It's always when I'm alone that the doubt creeps in. And I'm so indebted to you once again. I'll have to work hard so I can repay you. Sorry if I worried you. Okay, see you. That might be the, the first time I've chosen the wrong option for Haru. Wow. Uh, you're back. Oh, I see my box has arrived. Thank you, Sojiro. I hope I didn't cut him off there. Alright, I got my incenses. Nice. Oh. 
I wonder how Arsene is actually doing. He's still in jail. Um, oh, there is a crossword. Well, let's watch TV first. Next up, we report on the incident involving the Darkwings. Although we have not received, although we have received many tips, we have still not uncovered any new clues. The police are considering rescinding the reward money and will continue their investigation. Hmm. They're really treating us like we're cr major criminals. I'm not happy about that one bit. Yeah, I don't blame you. All right, who do we have a text from? Oh, he Fibby! Oh, she's talking about the exhibition match. Uh, is she the only one available? Yeah, I think she is. Well then, probably next time we'll end up hanging out with you, Fibby, because I don't know how long it's going to take us for this crossword, but historically, it has been able to take me a lot of time to do a crossword. Hey, hey. Err, so let's play a little. Alright, co-opted Celtic holiday. Um, co-opted Celtic holiday? I feel like I should know this. Err, I'll come back to that. Okay, rewards for tricks. Treats. That has to be treats. Oh, it'll be Halloween then if it's a co opted Celtic holiday because it was All Hallows Eve at All Saints Day, except um, it's been co opted into Halloween. That makes a lot more sense. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, oh, what could, that, what could that be? I'd forgotten it was a Celtic holiday. I thought it was um, something else. Um, a traditional magician must be a witch. Because, you know, you burn the witch. Or oh, don't burn the witch. Don't do not do that. Um, <laughs> that's illegal. Alright. And then, oh, whoops. Halloween. Alright, it's October, so... Well, actually, it's, it's November in the game. We've already passed Halloween. <laughs> I've got it. The answer is Halloween. Halloween! A holiday held on October 31st with conflicting origin stories, such as a harvest festival for the ancient Celts and a Christian holiday for honouring the saints. The term jack-o'-lantern also has a range of attributed sources, but it is generally, generally agreed that the jack-o'-lantern carving for the spooky holiday originated in Ireland. All right. I see. Oh wow, even I could figure that one out. Nice. Maybe you got a bit smarter after solving these crossword puzzles. Maybe I did, Mona. Um... Well, you know what? I think we can actually hang out with Hifumi then. We've got a little bit of time left. We might go over a little bit, but that's okay. Hi, Hifumi. The day of my exhibition match is finally here. Do you have time today? I'd like to see you beforehand. I feel like I can be close, become closer to Hifumi thanks to the star person of Garuda. I feel like my bond with Hifumi will grow stronger soon. So what are you thinking? Do you want to hang out with Hifumi? Let's do it! Thank you very much. I'll be waiting at the church. Thank you. After I confessed, I was scorned by the media. I bet everyone wants me to lose. However, I'm not going to give them the satisfaction. I'm going to win. With these very hands. Give it all you got. Yes, of course. Well, it's time. I have to go to the venue. You won't be able to go inside the match room, but you can watch over the internet if you like. All right. Now I should be going. It's an online broadcast of the match. The announcers are commentating on the on the gameplay. Is this the edge of the road for the phony princess? She's getting pushed back quite a bit. It's only a matter of time now. Hifumi is biting her lip. She doesn't seem to be doing so well. Oh no, that was a masterful play! Perhaps our skills are the genuine article! Oh no, that's not good. The next move will surely result in checkmate. Mifumi looks troubled as she's being pushed around the board. She hasn't made a move. I'm thinking, phony princess real defeat is the headline for our next article. I concede. <sighs> I was utterly destroyed out there. It was as if an ant had challenged an elephant. A shogi player should know her limits. <sighs> that was the first time I've ever forfeited a match. I was so ashamed of myself. I didn't want to hurt the pieces any longer. A very queenly decision. You remembered? 
one must concede defeat with grace, maintaining dignity until the very end, as a queen should. But I confess I am confused. I mean, naturally I am disappointed that I lost. But I still feel happy, as if a demon has been purged from me. The moment I realized that victory was impossible, I felt a strange peace. What's important is what I do from this point on. I played so disgracefully in front of you. Perhaps you can just view it as an example of what not to do. <laughs> I'd understand that there are times which require one to forfeit with valor and grace. I feel Hifumi's trust in me growing. Oh, Hifumi, she's so nice. She's so sweet. I feel really bad for her that she went through so much with her mom and, and now she has to suffer this like embarrassment but at the same time it's like well at least she's being true to herself now and this time she's using her genuine skills anyway we got torio uh, decreases turn delay to zero allowing you to instantly escape battle nice all right your your star confidant has increased to rank nine you'll now earn more xp from arcana versus freezing percentage of the star arcana he fully taught you how to use torio I've been thinking about this for a while. Let's make today your last session. Spending time with me has only brought you pain. He feel me is thinking hard. I should be careful about what I say here. So, this is goodbye. He feel me, I love you. I'm sorry. We're not dating anyone. I want to become stronger. The things you say to me, the things, the things you say sometimes. Perhaps I should take a lesson from that ambitious nature of yours. <laughs> if that is what you wish, then prepare yourself. Your training will be quite intensive. There may be things I can learn from you as well. I suppose this is a friendly rivalry for both of us, as irreplaceable shogi friends. Let's go home. so much for today. I've been thinking this entire time about how things would have been if I'd kept playing shogi according to my mother's strategy. I could have enjoyed a transient empty success, but when I looked two, three moves ahead, I saw myself in an incessant hell, playing a purgatorial pyrrhic shogi, unable to ever win or lose. I probably would have ended up hating shogi, perhaps even given up on life. That's why I can say with certainty, today's loss was not a setback, but a glorious step forward. That's a great way to see it. Thank you. It is so encouraging to have someone who truly understands me. I'm so happy. Alright, I should go, but I'm looking forward to seeing you again. I don't think we're going to level up with Hifumi, and I feel like that's just normal at this point. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, there haven't been many reruns of historical dramas recently, have there? I wonder if the Phantom Thieves had a hand in that. Many of those shows had noble thieves and shady people. Given current trends, it may be seen as insensitive. Nozomi Kozo was one of the gentleman thieves in the Edo period. According to one theory, he stole over 1 billion yen, making him the most wanted man of the era. Now then, Amamiya-kun. Do you know the answer? He was to be paraded through the city and punished in a very particular way. How was he punished? Er, uh, I do believe... His head was put on display? Uh, because they, like, made him up and everything? Er, uh, as a mockery? Or something like that? There was a similar question in, in Vanilla, but I think that was a... I can't check with the network, but I'm pretty sure it's this. His head was put on display. This is it. Very good. That's right. One of the most severe punishments of the Edo period, in fact. Right before his execution, they did something to his appearance. They put light makeup and lipstick on him and made him wear a beautiful kimono. The parading around town of a well-known criminal was a sort of performance back in the day. The citizens wouldn't have looked wouldn't have been satisfied if he had looked shabby. No. Wow, you got it right. Is he really a criminal? He 
He seems like a punk, but maybe he's actually serious about studying? Nice going! Wow, you must be really smart to be able to answer a question like that! Thanks, Morgana! Yeah, they used to put heads on display on the London Bridge as well for criminals. It seemed to be kind of a popular thing. Ugh. I wonder what will happen if those Phantom Thieves get arrested. These days, it won't just be their heads that will be put on display. <sighs> People are having fun thinking about that, huh? I can't take this. Hey, how many days left till we send the calling card? Three? Oh, make sure you're ready for it. Um... Hey. Uh, we're not going to mementos. All right. Well, that happened. My goodness. Okay, horror seems to be available. I'm not hanging out with anyone right now, of course, but... Oh! I, for a second, I thought all of my confidants were going to be available, but Futaba's not. It's everyone except for Futaba. Oh, well, that's fine. Okay, Shinya and Haru were both available, so we'll hang out with one of them people. One of those two next time. Uh, but for now, we actually need to stop. This will be going on for a little while. So... Hi, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please feel free to let me know down below what you thought of everything happened in this episode here today, including so much hanging out with confidants. So much of it. Uh, yeah, we, we have it with quite a few people, so I hope you enjoyed seeing all of those different confidant racks we did. Next time we will continue biding our time for the next three days ooh, until we send the calling card, so look forward to it. But for now, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you have a great day, night, or whatever the time is for you. And I will see you next time.